Changing time still works. Oh, is that is that how it works? Is it like 30 minutes ahead? Is it actually out? Maybe I'll like message some guys at Mobilytics and ask them if I can if I can if I, if it's cool if I do it. If it's cool if I do it one more time. <laughs> they said yes. Oh, they said yes. I d I don't know, guys. Sometimes it feels like I have a responsibility as a streamer. Like sometimes I feel like if there's a leak predicated on a bug, and I. And I'm not necessarily supposed to, but like everyone already knows anyway, right? It's not like, it's not like nobody doesn't know, right? I'm basically- I'm a Mobilytics employee, I'm it's okay. <laughs> they say yes because it won't work. I tried it 1,000 times, XD. All right, let me try though. All right, we're doing it again. We're stepping one more time into the future. I'm not going to go too far into the future this time. I'm not going to go too far into the future. I'm just going to go the right amount. We can't risk going too far. 9, 10 a.m. 9, 10 a.m. Okay. Not too far. Not too far. God damn it. Can anyone really be mad at me, though? All right. Guys, I feel like I'm not supposed to be showing this off to everyone. <laughs> but now it's too late. It's too late again. So I might as well just start talking about them again. <laughs> I'm sorry. The chat demands it though. Look at these new cards. Holy shit. Okay, siphoning strike. An ally strikes a unit. We're gonna, we're gonna, Slain, I'm, I'm guessing Slain is like, it counts kills and obliterates or something like that. Or, or, or something. I, I, I don't know what Slain means, but we'll, we'll see when we have clarification on what Slain means. And then we'll, we'll look at the other ones first. Huh. It doesn't seem amazing, but maybe there's some weird way to like get an insane amount of value out of this Grand Allied Champions everywhere plus two plus two. Sanctum Conservator. If you've slain 13 plus units this game, kill all enemy followers and then summon a copy of me? What? Kill all enemy followers? <laughs> Wait a second. This card's insane. Slay must be really hard to get. 13 slays. If, if you can actually reasonably get 13 by turn 8, this card is incredible. Right of Calling, zero mana. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. Oh, this, this is my stuff. Oh my God, I love this. I'm, I did, whoa. No, no longer do we need Entreat. No longer, oh my God. <laughs> We can use this in so many ways. Holy shit. Dude, that's crazy. So, destroying one of your mana gems is going to be really expensive. You'll want to use that on a kill an ally, presumably. But any any deck, I, I, can, I can talk about more in depth about what the different decks I will use this in. But a lot of decks that will want to draw champions. Like, for example, I was talking about a deck. I was thinking about a deck that was running um, Xenotype. Z uh, Z Xenotype um, researchers and like not running other cards so that I can like entreat and it will only pull Renekton that's buffed. But I might not even need to be in Freljord because this is a Shrima card that can just draw a champion. That's super cool. I love this card. All right, Nasus reveal. Here we go, guys. Nasus reveal. Act surprised, <laughs> please. Nasus. Nasus. Okay, hang on. I gotta move my camera because they they felt like putting it in this corner for some reason. <laughs> why would they Why would they do this to me? All right, <clears throat> new keyword: slay. You get credit for slaying an ally or enemy if one of your cards kills it via damage, strike, or direct kill effect. Okay, so if one of your cards kills it. All right, makes sense. So yes, it is actually pretty easy to fulfill. And Nasus himself. Wow, look at this. A six mana two two fearsome. I have plus one plus one for each unit you've slain this game. Huh? That's a very interesting card, guys. Nasus will be able to slay when you've slain eight units and then strike. He'll level up. Let's see what this level up does. Cycle begins anew. I can't wait. Bakai? No, I'm not going to pretend on this one. Punishment if I serve as an example. <laughs> I 
Okay. Judgment awaits. <clears throat> Let's see it. Through death, we grow in power. An ally strikes a unit. If it kills it, all champions get plus two, plus two. All right, Nasus levels up. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I missed this. I have plus one, plus one, so it still gains the buffs, and while it's on the board, it enemies passively have minus one attack, and it has spell shield. Your spirit is hollow. Pretty big boy. And the cycle is complete. Oh! The wheel never stops turning. So his level three gives enemies minus three attack. So it seems like Nasus Nasus is basically designed for fearsome. This is like literally the the ultimate fearsome card. He gains more attack, and I, I guess you're supposed to pair him with Shadow Isles. People were saying early on he'll probably be paired with Kindred, who you guys are saying is coming and probably going to be Shadow Isles. So there will be some kind of Shirima Shadow Isles deck where it's just all fearsomes. And when Nasus is leveling up, it will allow you to basically just win the game because no opponents will be able to block anything. You'll be able to, you can try combining it with Nocturne or something like that maybe, but you just like minus attack the opponent's units and just win the game with Fearsomes. Is the idea. Return to dust. I enter eternity with my face towards the sun. Okay. <clears throat> so let me, now, we can go through and check out the new cards. So slaying just means killing it with any of your cards, basically. Killing it with any of your cards. So it's not going to be super hard to, to be able to get there. Okay. So for all the new reveals, it seems like we're we're kind of missing part of the puzzle. Because wait, uh, let me let me check out. I think there was there was supposed to be one of these days we were getting the Shadow Isles ones. And I think that's supposed to be kind of like the missing half to this one. Ruination Fearsomes. Ruination Fearsomes could be pretty cool. Wow. Because when when Nasus levels up. He gets Spell Shield, but Spell Shield doesn't protect him from your own Ruination, right? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow we're getting Kindred. I think I think it is, yes. Yes, tomorrow we're actually... Tomorrow's one is, is the one where we're getting Shadow Isles, which people are guessing is Kindred, which makes sense. So, tomorrow we're getting the second half of this, like, fearsome Shadow Isles Shirima package. And Shadow Isles will presumably have a lot of ways to kill things too with like the whole slay package but kai reaper looks completely insane to me <clears throat> the ability for like a one meta one two fearsome to just like get attack freely like i don't know how fast this is gonna get attack but it'll have to be fast enough to be good like for a one mana one two fearsome all you have to do is like kill a couple of units and you can you can kill your own units right you can kill your own units as well that's something that it mentioned in the trailer, which means if we're in Shadow Isles, we'll have the ability to use stuff like if we want, um, like stuff like Ravenous Butcher and stuff like Blighted Caretaker will count for that. That'll be a way to just like trigger these slay effects according to how it's defined. So, Bakai Reaper looks insane, actually. Wow, that's completely crazy. And yeah, Nasus is, it, it looks like he's entirely designed to be run with Shadow Isles. Rampaging Bakai looks really good as well really good as well for a five mana four six overwhelm which is already decent stat lines all you have to do is have slain four units that game so far which i don't think is going to be that hard that really shouldn't be that hard and then you just get a free strike when it gets played too this card is pretty sweet these two bakai cards look solid like really 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 solid i'm a big fan of these i love it um 
and the slay archetype will be really interesting. I feel like that'll be tricky to optimize. We still need to know exactly how slay works. <clears throat> atrocity is busted with Nasus. Oh, that's true. Using Atrocity with Nasus because it's really big and it gets spell shield for free. Wow, that's a really good finisher. So you can basically build a deck. Instead of Fearsomes, you can build a deck with Nasus where the entire idea is just, I'm going to slay a bunch of units and one of my Nasus levels up, I will Atrocity and win the game. And with Spell Shield, that's really, really powerful. Insanely powerful with Spell Shield. Nasus will be, basically Nasus will be a 12-12. Because he'll be a 10-10 and he'll strike for 10 damage. Then, during that strike, he'll level up, getting plus one, plus one. And he'll, that strike will usually cause a slay, which will give him another. So he'll be a 12-12 with Spell Shield. Which is like the single best atrocity target we've ever seen we've ever seen like imagine if nautilus had atrocity or something like that like imagine that seriously that would be so crazy that would be so crazy his level three looks a little bit excessive this, this one looks like kind of like overkill <laughs> um but yeah nasa's atrocity looks terrifying that looks really good wow th these cards are actually sweet these slay cards look really cool then there's sanctum conservator if you've slain 13 units this game, God, I don't know, th that one might be really hard. That, that one, we kind of have no idea how hard it'll be to slay 13 units, because we don't know if it'll count ephemeral or not. I'm, <sighs> will this count ephemeral based on its wording? I think, the cycle. you get credit for slaying an ally or enemy if one of your cards kills it via damage strike or direct kill effect. So I, I, it shouldn't count ephemeral, I think. It shouldn't count ephemeral, but there's still a few like questions about like what counts as a slay completely or not. So Sanctum Conservator, if this is really even like remotely possible to level at any amount of reliability, Sanctum Conservator looks pretty good. This is like an insane board swing. This is like a triple or quadruple action level swing to the point where you're summoning two big boys. You're summoning two big boys with fearsome and you're killing the enemy followers at once. So this won't necessarily fit into every deck, but if it is able to fit in, it'll be kind of like the nuts win condition of the deck, right? It just comes down to whether the deck needs this or not, but this is pretty good too. And yeah, this is its skill. Okay, so all these cards are pretty decent so far. Siphoning Strike looked a little underwhelming for a 5-mana slow card, but everything else looks solid. Spirit Fire, 7 mana, give enemies minus 2 attack and round end deal 2 to me. So that's going to be pretty solid as well. I don't know if that... I don't know if that'll fit into the same kind of deck. Spirit Fire is like a really, really heavy control card, basically. I think it's pretty solid. This card looks good, at least decent, but I don't know if it fits into, like, this slaying deck because it doesn't feel like this is going to be, like, full control. There's there's too many units here that we're going to have to play, and if we're, like, if we're trying to trigger slaying, I think we're going to have to be slaying our own units with Shadow Isles too. Like, this slaying strategy feels kind of like semi-control, and Spirit Fire is, like, a full control kind of card. Full control kind of card. Right of calling. This is this is this is the crazy one. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to to draw a champion. I love this so much. Um, this is a powerful card, just to, kind of like in any sort of um, Sharima deck. Where th this is kind of like one of the cards here that's completely disconnected from this combo. Right of calling. I don't know if you'd honestly run it in this deck. This would be a card for if you have a deck that's much more built into the idea of like champion synergy or build around. You might be able to fit it in this deck. It's pretty good. I do really like right of calling. The fact that it's slow is going to make it like it's not it's going to make it not like completely auto include, but it's pretty good and it will hit a lot of decks. It will hit a lot of decks. Weight of judgment looks kind of like poo poo. I've been looking at this card I don't see it. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the odd man out. This card this card feels uh feels so bad. Four mana, slow, deal two to a champion or seven to a follower. <laughs> Dealing seven is kind of overkill at four. Yeah, I mean, you'll be able to trade up for a couple of like mid-range followers, but dealing two to a champion for four at slow speed is like 
almost useless. I mean, it can kill TF. And dealing 7 to a follower doesn't really do much at slow speed. Slow, slow speed is a really big downside, guys. So, I, I will say, you know, a lot of these cards look super pog. And then there's, like, Weight of Judgment, who's just like, yeah, me too, guys. Yeah, pick me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Sorry. Ruinous Path. Is the draw one, if you've slain a unit this round, drain two from the enemy nexus. This one's interesting. I don't know if this will be able to fit into this kind of, like, slaying deck. It seems a... It seems a little weird. Draining two from the enemy nexus is nice. It is nice. Like, just kind of, like, winning the health advantage in, like, the later stages of the game. So, I might actually just be underrating this one. Like, I mean, Doom Beast is a good card. And this is, like, Doom Beast as a spell. And usually Doom Beast is often played at the stages of the game where you're not gaining as much value out of the body, so it's okay for it to not have a body. So Ruinous Path might be pretty good. I might be under underrating this one. It's um it's definitely something that people will experiment around with, and I'm not comfortable saying whether it'll like hit decks or not, but it's a card that, yeah, people will try out, and it'll be I think it'll be pretty close to the level at least. I think so. Um, yeah. It could end up being a bit better than Doom Beast. It actually could, and if that's true, then it'll it'll be good in the decks where it happens to you don't need the Doom Beast body, right? Although the body is a pretty big deal. Okay, but yeah, I'm liking this card overall. It's just mostly Weight of Judgment and Siphoning Strike that feel a little bit hard to use. Honestly, the rest looks sweet. I think Nasus will be his most competitive with the Atrocity combo. To me personally, that is pretty nuts. Like, using this as an atrocity finisher, what I'm thinking about this slaying deck, for, personally, I'm looking at this sort of, like, deep. Not in terms of necessarily, like, how it plays out, but in terms of how the deck is kind of built and in terms of how it functions. Which is sort of this, like, semi-control deck. It runs some of the control cards, kind of like deep does. And it runs some of, the, like, the synergy cards, and maybe we're dealing chip damage. But when we have the level up here, then our atrocity just kind of wins the game. And that's, that's just completely insane. If we've slain enough, then our Nasus will just win the game off of the Atrocity here. I'm really liking Sanctum Conservator as well. It's possible that this could be run instead of, like, Nasus Atrocity. Honestly, I like Nasus Atrocity, though. Nasus Atrocity seems cool. It might just be a cleaner way to end the game compared to Sanctum Conservator as well. This seems pretty cool. Do you think Nasus will replace They Who Endure? Oh, that's interesting. Nasus to replace They Who Endure. Wow, that deck would have to be built pretty different. I think that deck would have to be built pretty different. You'd be able to run Bakai Reaper in that deck. You know what? That might be a thing. We might be able to build the like that basically that Shadow Isles package. Because that Shadow Isles package is kind of the most efficient for slaying units, I think. Just like killing your own things. Nasus could be a potential Endure finisher. The only problem is Endure is kind of reliant on not needing Atrocity. The fact that, like, once we run Nasus and it's a fearsome and it gets blocked by everything, with a deck that wants to go fast needing Atrocity, I don't like that. I think Nasus is a decent replacement for, like, Nautilus in that style of deck, where when you need, like, when you're relying on it, when you're going more all-in on Atrocity as a finisher, it makes more sense. But the whole point of that Shadow Wilds aggro combo is, is, like, Atrocity is a good counter to Vengeance. That's why Atrocity is ran with Endure, because it counters stuff like Vengeance. But it's not really your primary win con, and once you are dependent on the Atrocity, that kind of speed of deck, that aggro style deck, doesn't really work as well. Doesn't really work as well. So I do think Na Nasus is a bit narrow in use. Some of you guys are saying Nasus looks kind of bad, and I don't, that's, that's sort of true. I don't think you can run him with a ton of decks. I don't think you can just splash him in every deck, but he will have a deck, and I don't think that deck will necessarily be bad. Like, his, his combo with Atrocity is big, and he might be able to make sense in some styles of Shadow Isles Fearsome's deck. It's important to keep in mind, again, we are getting tomorrow, the reveals tomorrow, are the Shadow Isles combo to this, right? Which, we don't know what they do. It'll have some kind of synergy, right? It'll have some kind of synergy. It's suspected that Kindred will be there. Kindred is like, you guys were saying, it's technically in the lore, Kindred's not really a Shadow Isles card, but it's almost certainly like flavor wise will have to be in shadow wilds so 
it will be the other part of this package. It'll probably be Kindred, and it will make these cards even better in some way. We don't know. We don't know. But we are missing some pieces here, and these cards, if we don't really see how they're usable now, they'll be better in some way off of the tools that we're getting later. That being said, the reason I'm looking at this and this is looking hot to me is because a lot of these cards look pretty good without that. I'm really mostly looking at these two Bakai cards. These two Bakai cards look really nuts. Like, these two Bakai cards look crazy to me. I feel like you can run these in a lot of stuff. All you need is just a small amount of slaying. And when triggered, for an, any sort of, like, aggro or fearsome deck, Bakai Reaper will be... Bakai Reaper is going to be nuts. That has to be. Th th this card has to be crazy for, like, an aggro fearsome deck. For Shadow Isles. There's no way. There's no way. Th th this, will, this will gain attack pretty fast. And I think it'll be able to hit face pretty reliably, too. If we combo this with, like, Blighted Caretaker... Because we are going to be running Shadow Walls in the deck, and it's going to be a sacrifice deck with, like, Blighted Caretaker. If we, like, drag away Fearsome Blockers, this, this will deal, like, crazy fast aggressive damage. Crazy fast aggressive damage. To be honest, Bakai, Re Bakai Reaper actually kind of terrifies me. Th 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 this card looks kind of insane to me. We've seen a lot of these cards. We've seen a lot of these cards. So we've seen um, uh, uh, Astute Academic, which is, like, a 1-mana one 1-2, one which grows in attack sometimes. We've seen um, the support one, Flower Child, which is a one mana one two, which grows in attack sometimes, and we've seen, I guess, um, the the Star Child or whatever. Star Shepherd is kind of similar to that. It's another one mana one, but the, the the other one is Green Glade. That's the other one mana one two, which is another one that just like gets in attack sometimes. And the thing is, most of these kinds of cards haven't actually been amazing. Green Glade Caretaker is pretty good, but like Bakai Reaper looks better than all of them, and here's why. Because it's just naturally fitting into an aggro package. Like, the most important thing, this card has Fearsome. So it'll be able to hit face. It'll actually be able to, like, semi-reliably use this plus attack for damage, which is huge. Which is huge. F there's a lot of Fearsome synergy out there. We can combine this with, like, stuff that does minus attack. Stuff that does minus attack. Like, Frenzied Skitterer. You guys, you guys have to understand, like... Green Glade Caretaker, as I mentioned, Green Glade Caretaker, or sorry, Blighted Caretaker. <laughs> I, I, I was saying it right beforehand. Blighted Caretaker is the one I meant in this sentence. Blighted Caretaker is a really good way to trigger Slay while also dragging away Fearsome Blockers. But, like, check this out, too. There's also, um, what was that card? Exhaust. Exhaust? This is also in Shirima already. Exhaust basically just deletes two fearsome blockers no matter what at gem speed You can use this at the start of a turn before your attack without losing an action at gem speed for one mana You're guaranteed deleting two fearsome blockers as long as you have a small thing on board Because you just make one of their fearsome blockers not a fearsome blocker anymore You make another one vulnerable and drag it with like your token your chump your spider or whatever something useless and They're down two fearsome blockers and that's insane that's insane it's only one target oh wait it's only one target <laughs> wait you, you you guys are right you guys are right it's only one target the point still stands you're still deleting a fearsome blocker for for one mana gem speed all right you guys you guys are right that bullet point you can rip that one in half that one's one target but still like everything uh, everything else standing th this this card looks nuts when, when, when you give this kind of card, like all of these cards that I've gone through, all these one mana one twos that grow, they've all kind of failed because none of them have had like fearsome or overwhelm. Man, that is crazy. And then of course, rampaging Bakai, just like, like even when this ability whiffs, it's still good. Like a five, four, six overwhelm isn't even bad. And then when it hits, it's just like a free kill. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, these, these are strong cards we got today. These, these are these are pretty strong and then of course right of calling is just is just nuts I don't I, I don't know if this would be the same deck but right of calling will hit a lot of decks we'll we'll be able to use this in a lot in a lot of decks in a lot of decks I'm liking I'm liking this idea of Shirima Shadow Isles fearsome there's gonna be something scary here I don't know how to build it there's gonna be a lot of different ways to build it it might be using like the heavy like keeper butcher package and trying to go deep for slay effects it might be trying to go deep for fearsomes 
and go more in like the Shadow Isles fearsome like minus attack package, maybe even running Nocturne. It might be built in a way to try to like play a bit slower and have like a semi aggro win condition, but more so play for like some kind of Nasus win condition while still using these cards. That's not impossible. Or, I mean, you might be able to use some of these new Shirima tools for the Fearsome package. Cards like Exhaust, I mentioned. Cards like Rite of Dominance, of course, has big synergy here because we're triggering a Slay and we're minus attacking enemies so that our Fearsomes are getting through. Basically, there's something powerful here. There's so many different ways to build this idea of, like, Shadow Isles, Shirima. And there's, there's, people are going to decide how much... It should run Shadow Isles, how much it should run Shirima, how much it should go for the Slay package, how much it should go for the Fearsome package, because it's kind of bundling a lot of things together. But it is trying to be, I think for the most part, generally, th there will be one deck that emerges out of this that will balance all of these properties very well. And that'll be the interesting thing. That'll be the interesting thing. So many ways to build it. So many ways to build it. I do think it's probably a second deck that plays like a slower semi-control slay game plan with Nasus and Atrocity. I would call that one kind of a second deck. But so like kind of like one aggro deck and one like slower Atrocity slaying deck or something like that. But these all look pretty good. These all look pretty good. And yeah, Spirit Fire might be pretty good in the control one. I don't know if you can run this in the aggro one. And yep, that's it. That's my uh, initial impressions of today's reveals looking pretty hot guys looking pretty hot i can't wait for tomorrow where we'll be getting the shadow isles half of this package all right what what did i miss now's the time now now's your chance type in chat all of your combo ideas things that i didn't see with these cards big brain or small brain i'm not one to judge ways <laughs> ways of using these cards that i just didn't pick up on immediately here we go